Welcome to this course of blockchain. Today, continuing in our course, we will see about the history and the future of blockchain. We'll be talking about that how did blockchain evolve and what does the research suggest us about the future of blockchain. Blockchain, as we have seen, is a buzzing technology, a new technology, but actually the concepts on which the blockchain is built is not new. Today we'll be seeing that how did blockchain came into the picture and what are the technologies which it is using when these technologies were first used and how these technologies combined together to make this word blockchain and what the future of blockchain lies. So let's see a timestamp chart which will give us a clear picture of from the history to the future of blockchain. As you can see over here, we have taken the timestamp from 1991 till 2022. The journey of blockchain from 1991 till 2018 is from blockchain 1.0, then blockchain 2.0. And currently we are living in an era of blockchain 3.0. What the future lies in 2022 and in 2025 and then in 2030 is also present in this video. If we go back that how did this blockchain evolve and what were the pioneer technologies which used the concept which was very much similar which is used in blockchain. So history takes us back to 90s. So this is not something which is very new which is to be afraid of. Remember that it is an amalgamation of things which was already there. So when we see further, we find that in 1991, the first work of cryptographically secured block was done, meaning the cryptographic technique was used to make a secured block to store the data. The first work of timestamp control was done in 1991 by Stuart Harbour. Then as we move forward, what do we find is that in 1998, the first decentralized digital currency was introduced by the name of BitGold. It was a decentralized digital currency made by Nick Sesbo, a computer scientist. So this digital currency and a cryptographically block, it came long back in 1990s. So what was stopping blockchain? How did this blockchain came to the picture? We will very soon see to it. In 2000, this block which we talk about that which came in 1991 and then there was a secured currency also decentralized currency. In 2000, first theoretical concept of cryptographically secured chain of block means which we call a blockchain. It is a cryptographically secured chain of block. The first concept of secure graphically secure chain of block was given in 2000 by Stephen Kohn's. So Stephen Kohn's was the first person who gave this key concept of cryptographically secured block in 2001. Now let's move forward and see what happened in 2008, which is considered to be a specific change in the time of blockchain. Now, having seen this journey from 1991 till 2000, which has already given the major concept and which has already given the secure chain of blocks, then what happened in 2008, which is considered as a remarkable change. In 2008, Satoshi Nakamoto, which is not actual, actually the known name. We do not know who is Satoshi Nakamoto or whether it is a group of people or not. but. Satoshi Nakamoto released a paper in 2008. He started working on a concept and he introduced a term which was known as Bitcoin. So Bitcoin was an application of blockchain, which was the first digital cryptocurrency and the first platform which was used. Now, why did it become so famous? It became so famous because it solved the problem of double spending. There was a drastic change in financial institutions. The financial market was going down. There was no trust among any financial institution and economy was facing a change in 2008. 
at that time it was a need of the art to give something which could be trusted and satoshi nakamoto introduced the concept of bitcoin and which prevented double spending without any interference of third party so let's see what happened in 2008 from the time stamp in 2008 satoshi nakamoto introduced the concept of bitcoin paper was published and in 2009 he officially released this blockchain platform of 2009 after the success of this platform of 2009 many more companies and many other organizations started thinking in the direction of blockchain and started thinking in the direction of cryptocurrencies the main motive of satoshi nakamoto bitcoin was not application oriented it was only focused on cryptocurrencies in financial institutions to transfer money from one party to another party in the form of digital currency so satoshi nakamoto was the first person who collaborated this concept of secure chain digital currency and introduced this concept of bitcoin in 2008 which was officially launched in 2009 then in 2014 the system changed from blockchain 1.0 to blockchain 2.0 many new cryptocurrencies came into the market like ripple ether and there were many others which came and the focus was still on cryptocurrencies but were shifted from cryptocurrencies to smart contract due to ethereum in 2013 ethereum was developed and in 2015 Ethereum was finally launched by Vertlin Berrett. He finally launched Ethereum in 2015 and the concept changed from Bitcoin to a smart contract, from cryptocurrencies to a smart contract where we could focus on other work through these smart contract. But still the blockchain did not gain its pace. Many other cryptocurrencies came to the picture and it was a boom. in the concept of blockchain in 2014 so that gave a period of blockchain 2.0 in 2015 a major project which is known as an enterprise blockchain hyperledger an open source blockchain project was started by linux which allowed many industries to focus on blockchain project to contribute on blockchain project and to make an application oriented blockchain So an enterprise blockchain was introduced in 2015 by a project of Linux called Hyperledger. In 2018 the complete picture changed in 2018 the concept from bitcoin smart contracts it shifted to application oriented that why can't these smart contract why can't this platform of blockchain be used for different applications in different scenarios wherever possible wherever trust is required so in 2018 it gave birth to blockchain 3.0 so let's see what happened in blockchain 3.0 in 2018 the focus changed that blockchain platforms ethereum hyperledger they can be used for different type of applications whether it is health whether it is supply chain whether it is finance whether it is medical lines whether it is government records land registries in everywhere where there are different people which are involved blockchain can be used so blockchain 3.0 the era where we are currently living is came in existence in 2013 then if we talk about the present scenario it is believed that by 2020 we'll be having a 10 billion dollar of work of blockchain by 2022 there will be an industry of blockchain using 10 billion dollars by 2025 the blockchain industry would be of 176 billion dollar and by 2030 that is approximately 9 years from here the blockchain industry would be of 3.1 trillion dollar so friends blockchain is an industry which is there to survive these records of gartner research already shows 
that what is the future of blockchain and we have also covered what is the history of blockchain how did blockchain evolve from 1991 how the bitcoin paper was introduced by satoshi nakamoto and how and shift to the scenario to application orientation so that's for this video we'll be seeing more about bitcoin and blockchain and ethereum in the coming video